General Assembly for 24 years, 16 years in the House of Representatives and eight years as a member of the State Senate here in Ohio. I am now publishing, I am now publishing, publishing a news journal, the Columbus African American News Journal. And we want to ensure that all communities have the opportunity to participate in the journal and have the opportunity uh, to share the information that we are disseminating. Uh, I am honored to be here because my good friend, uh, Burhan Ahmed, invited me. Uh, and all of you know, all of you know what a tremendous organizer Burhan is. Uh, when he comes to you and he asks if you will be present and if you will participate, uh, it is virtually impossible for you to say no. Uh, and so my wife and I are very pleased to be with you this evening, particularly on this occasion uh, that we celebrate the election of Dr. Abdullahi M. Ali Gus uh, as the Prime Minister. Uh, all of you celebrated with African Americans, and not only celebrated, but participated in the election of our first African American president. Because not only African Americans and African Americans uh, throughout our country, uh, but it was Africans who understood the importance of electing Obama to the presidency of the United States of America. One word. I was told I had five minutes, and I think I can say what I have to say in the remaining two minutes. One word, respect. One word, respect. There are a lot of people who want to be liked. There are a lot of people who want to be liked. And that's a nice thing, to be liked. There are people who feel good about being liked. But being liked normally doesn't get you too much other than a feel good kind of a response. What you want to be is respected. You want to be respected. But when you're respected, that means that an individual has appreciation for you as a person. They have appreciation for you and your history and your heritage. They have a res uh, an appreciation for your culture. In fact, the extension of it is that they have a love for you when they fully respect you. Being liked is nice. But if you have an, an agenda that speaks to equality, if you have an, an agenda that speaks to justice, if you have an agenda that, that deals with the advancement of your people, you're not always going to be liked. But people will know that you're serious and they will respect you. And so what I have, brothers and sisters, is a deep respect for my people. And when I say my people, I'm not, I'm not just talking about African Americans. I was born in Hampton, Virginia. I'm not just talking about Virginians. I'm not just talking about those from Hampton. When I say my people, I am talking about African people. African people. And, and, and so there's much that we can learn from you, as there is much that you can learn from us as African Americans. So we can learn from you more about family. We can learn more from you about entrepreneurship, about business development. And then you can learn uh, more about us in terms of our struggle as I close in America. James Weldon Johnson wrote this about our anthem. And we love your anthem. Your anthem is inspiring. Your, your anthem has a wonderful rhythm to it. And so the Black National Anthem, written by James Weldon Johnson, James Weldon Johnson said this, and he said when he got to this verse, when he was writing it with his brother John Roseman, he said this, we, we African Americans have come over a way that with
tears have been wiped. We have come over a way, brothers and sisters, that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughter. Out from the gloomy past. He's talking about out from Africa. Out from the gloomy past. Till now we stand at last. Where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. Thank you so much, Elijah. Senator Ray Miller, who really get, uh, grateful. We all know that we are Africans. And we will uh, we do our best to um, do and benefit from one another, as the uh, Senator said. Next, there is uh, uh, Judge David Young, who requested to be given up the opportunity because he's leaving very soon like the others, but let's welcome Judge David Young. Good evening everybody, it's also an honor and a privilege to be here. My name is David Young, I'm running for Franklin County Municipal Court Judge in the upcoming election. I uh, am a Democratic nominee, um, and I currently have my own practice where I've uh, participated in private practitioners, I've had the great opportunity to represent a number of members of the small youth community um, and have done so for at least the past 10 years. I would look for your support in the upcoming election. If you want to know anything about my campaign, you can follow me at davidyoung.com or davidyoung on Facebook, davidyoungforjudge.com or davidyoung for judge on Facebook. And remember in November, be young, stay young, vote young. I'm going to be here today. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Clark for inviting me. And um, I, I apologize that the congressman can't be here tonight with you. Um, this is an important night, and uh, Steve wrote a letter that I just wanted to read with you and um, to present to you. It says, I apologize that I cannot be with you in person tonight to celebrate this important occasion. However, please know that I'm proud to join with all the Central Ohio Somali community in celebrating the appointment of Dr. Abdul Abdi as the Prime Minister of Somalia. <laughs> Somalia's new Prime Minister takes office in a critical time for the state, and I look forward to his work in strengthening, strengthening the country, serving its people, and helping to create a safe and a stable Somalia for generations to come. Uh -huh. Dr. Ali's academic accomplishments and his reputation within the community are truly impressive, and I'm confident that by working with the Somali people, he can accomplish great things. On behalf of Ohio's 15th Congressional District, please accept my sincere congratulations on this momentous occasion, and if there's ever anything I can do for you or to be of assistance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Respectfully, Steve Travers. Thank you. How to create things, how to build things, and that is tribal knowledge. What's missing is writing that down. What's missing is documenting that. What's missing is recording that. And that's the only difference from us having tribal knowledge to us having college higher knowledge. All I'm saying right now is that I work through advanced language access that works with helping people in interpreting, translation, tutoring, and training. We train and we provide extra knowledge and education. I want to work with you. I want to support you and assist you in continuing getting that education to help your family members and everyone else. 
going to be the only way that we can continue on supporting our families, supporting our people, is through that education and knowledge because no one can take that away from us. Not the economy, right? Not anybody else. We can keep that for ourselves and then pass it down. That's what it's all about and that's why I'm here today, to support you, support your education. And if you would like to find me, I'm also on Facebook. That's advancedlanguageaccess.com. I would like to work with you, so please come visit me. Once again, I'm Brandy Young Sharp, and I want to be working along with you in unity, fighting for education, and to support you. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is Mark Peplin. I am the director of the Columbus International Program. And we are one of several international nonprofits that work throughout Columbus and Central Ohio. I've had the privilege to work with Miss Afera in the Horn of Africa recently with the Somali Youth Symposium several months ago. What a great event that was. And we were so thrilled to be part of it. And I had board members there and many others that just could not say enough good things about it. So we're thrilled to be here, want to congratulate you. In terms of our organization, one of the things I would like to do is to welcome the Somali community here to get involved with my organization, the Columbus International Program, but also sitting over here is Audrey Peters from the United Nations Association. United Nations, Columbus Sister City. Uh, حاجة صعبة على دي بعض المرايا هو حيسمع أما دوا أما وابع أما مرا صلى الله عليه وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام تاكني وعن مهاب علينا يا كباعي هذا من يرى الصورة قاسمة حفرنا ورسولنا أو كل من يسافرتي وحيابه هاد يعاطفتي تاريخ ون كان عام سوماليا هل كان الله جاه سيرتي دتي جوري نوحيرين إيشجعل وحمي إلى أنتي حدي عن كهر وروح حفرنا وحيات ما كان كه الله دتي دريين وحن أنت بدل هذا شيء الله هذا الحياة كل ما نيجي نوعان أو كلا كلا قصوا قعدة رجيم دريء خير من هذا هدي عن في بود نقرنا وقت جرجع سجوجين مرحلة الله نجري نوع والله نقوني هل كي مركع تعبنيت يا انتبا وحقوري كثي انتبا وحافرين كثي رجو محاكم رجيلي أنت أيه كجدودا سومالي أخرني ما كان سيان، أدين تاعو حنورن كلا ودري يد مركا هيك يتاعني دي، تاعو حن كوضة، مركي عن صوت صوت عن هواي صد صد دستاعو ولا هي لباتن كيجون أخرني ما دي وقوي، أخرني ما دي كوفر، كوف يا كو كوف دن جولاي أو كوف دن يوليو. iyo midowga labada gobol oo runtii aan la ilaawi karin arinta ayb ka bida maanta qur'aan qur'aankeen uu ku saabsan yahay wuxuu ku saabsan yahay julay 2019 أي قرا أي صوم مرين مرقون هي هذا إسكت جام أي ولا فهم أفرت جولاي ووطن كهذا في جدام أدوم كأولي هي وطن كما كأوبا ورمضان إنه صوم لكن وحن استطرد لجنا وبضع وطن هذه أفرت جولاي أيتها معلومة في هذا وطن كأوبا تجوزتي وكأوس بحي